Hey everybody, it's Beth. Welcome to Infinite Garden. A couple months ago, I posted a video reviewing Sacred, Beyonce's new hair care line, and I reviewed it in detail. If you haven't seen that video, please go check it out. In that video, I promised to return to you after I'd had a little more time with the products, and now I've been using them for two months. Honestly, I can't believe that much time has passed, but I have been using these products every time I wash my hair, and I have a lot of thoughts. I've developed a lot of opinions about this, so I want to go through the products that I ordered. I'm gonna rank them from bottom to top in terms of what I think about them and my likeliness to repurchase them, and we're just gonna get all the way into it. So if that sounds good to you, please stay tuned. Okay, just to start, this is my natural hair color and my natural hair texture. I washed my hair with these products on Friday night and today is Sunday. So I'm on day two of my wash routine and this is what it's looking like. My hair type is somewhat unusual, although not unheard of. I am primarily Caucasian. The majority of my ancestral background is European Caucasian, but I do have some West African ancestors. I didn't learn about this until I did my DNA test. I found out that my great grandmother was African American and able to pass as Bohemian. All of her census records say that she was Bohemian. I think she was able to pass as Bohemian because she was living in rural North Dakota and because she'd been adopted into an Eastern European family, so she bore a last name that was distinctly Eastern European. My particular, you know, coarse and wavy texture did come from that great grandmother. That is where the curly genes are in my family. Everybody else in my ancestral line seems to have like straightish, maybe gently wavy, but you know, straight European style hair. So my texture has always been something that was um, hard for me to understand in the context of the rest of my family, if that makes sense. I didn't start taking care of my hair appropriately until YouTube came into existence and there was a natural hair community that ended up teaching me how to care for my hair. This was before I had the complete understanding that my hair texture really does come from the West African ancestry that I have. In that sacred review video and in other hair care review videos on my channel, people have like commented that they notice that I'm Caucasian and the assumption is that my hair type is, you know, could be characterized as being classically Caucasian, whatever that means but I just feel like it's important to note that I am working with a little bit of a different set of traits. And I have found overall that my hair responds best to products that are catered to folks who maybe have some of those same traits. And I tend to be interested in lines that are created by and for people with African ancestry. So that's another reason why I was so excited that Beyonce released this line and that she was kind of targeting a salon grade quality product, which tends to be what I use in my hair. I'm not the number one channel to follow for affordable hair care recommendations. That's just the way it is. So I was comfortable with Beyonce's price point and I was excited to see what she did. So the first product, I'm gonna rank this one at six. I tried six products, so protein powder. This is a two-step process. Each one takes five minutes. You so you shake the you shake the powder you shake the powder into a vessel of water and you pour that onto your hair you leave that for 5 minutes you rinse that out and then you put this silk protein the silk rinse on your hair for another five minutes and then you rinse that out. I've only used this one time. I used it and reviewed it in my first video and I have not used it again. I did find that my hair was incredibly soft after using this and I do look forward to using it again. I think that Beyonce mentioned that she uses this when her hair has been through a lot, when it's been stressed, when it's been maybe color treated or she's been on tour. And I wanna save this product for the next time I think my hair is stressed. For me, that can happen when I'm on vacation, if I get a lot of sun or if I get a lot of salt water, that type of thing. But I'm no longer chemically treating my hair in any way, either with dye or with any type of other like relaxer or anything like that. This is 
My hair is as healthy as it's ever been, so I like this product. I think it is very nice. It made my hair very soft, and I do think it's possible to administer this in a shower context, although I think it is most elegant if used, I think, in a salon bowl context. You know, for some of these products, if you have to leave them on for very long, and isn't that comfortable to stand in a shower for, you know, 10, 20 minutes on end, and it also doesn't necessarily make sense in a bathtub because you need to rinse it out into the water that you're soaking in. So I did manage uh, to, you know, in some cases step in and out of the shower to do this, but I think it would be most convenient if you were either doing a wash day at a sink at home where you're not necessarily showering at the same time, or if you brought this to your um, hair care provider and asked to use this treatment in a salon context. I think that would make a ton of sense too. But the only reason it's at number six for me is because I think it's a, like a special kind of once every so often treatment and I just haven't really been able to make a ton of use out of it. Coming in at number five is the restructuring treatment mask. I tried this at least three times. For my first video, I tried it once with about eight minutes on the clock with this in my hair and then without any heat and then I rinsed it right out and I wasn't sure afterwards how much it had done. So following using it those times, I tried it two more times with different circumstances. So the next time I tried this mask, I left it on for 20 minutes but without heat applied. And in the 20 minutes, I did find I could feel my hair stiffening maybe just a little bit, but it did feel very shiny afterwards. However, the third time I used it, I used it with heat. So 20 minutes, which the directions say not more than 20 minutes. So I went right up to the 20 minute time frame, and I also used a heat cap. I have two styles of heat caps. I have one, they're both from Amazon. One you plug into the wall and while you're wearing it, it is powered and delivering heat to your hair. The other one is, uh, I think it's flax seeds. It's full of some type of seed husk that you microwave and then you put it on your head for however long you need it. And it seems to maintain its heat pretty well. I like both of them. The microwavable cap, of course, gives you freedom to walk around, which is generally my preference. And the other plug that you plug into the wall, I think maintains an even heat for longer. So they have their pros and cons and it kind of depends on what you do. But I used specifically the plug-in style when I tried this mask for the 20 minutes. And this was the time that I could really see the results. I'll throw in a couple of pictures. So my hair type is um, overall, I would say a mosaic. Like if you were to pluck from my hair 20 different strands of hair from my head and line them up, you would see dark hairs and light hairs you would see smooth hairs and you would see uh, very tightly wavy hairs. You would feel fine and smooth hairs and you would feel thick and coarse hairs. So my entire head is like a mosaic. And what I have noticed is that with this product, when used with heat for 20 minutes, it seemed to further define the differences between my hair strands. And I don't know if this picture will do it justice, but what I noticed is that in particular, I could easily see my dark, super wavy hairs were very wavy, wavier than ever. They, they shortened up. I lost some of the length on those hairs and they were fully activated. But I also noticed that some of my silver hairs are a little bit smoother and the wave pattern is more like a two level, whereas some of my my darker hairs are, would maybe be at the three level. I noticed that my two level strands were a lot smoother and really behaving differently from my maybe level three strands. So I think that this product really works. My husband noted that my hair looked drier after using it, and I don't necessarily know if that means that the hair itself is drier or if it was stiffer because of the protein being added in, but the visible appearance of it was that it seemed drier. And I think maybe I could have used even more length and heat on my conditioning mask following the protein mask. So I haven't used it again since then. My hair really does feel strong and healthy, so I don't know when I'll need it again, but the next time I use it, I will plan to use it for 20 minutes with heat 
and then I will use my conditioning mask again with heat after that. So what that means is the next time I want to use it, it's going to be a bit of a production for me. Back to my comment about the salon bowl or your wash day routine. I think we're getting into the ritual aspect of this that Beyonce was talking about. It's less to do with just like getting your hair washed and getting in and out of the shower and more to, to do with taking time and making a self-care moment out of it. So the next time I use this, it's going to be more of a self-care moment than you know a chore of just getting my hair washed because it's time. I don't know if I'm going to repurchase. I still have so much of it. You can see after using it three times, there's still quite a lot in there. So my goal here is to use up this product and then maybe then I'll decide if I want to repurchase. At this moment, I'm not sure. Coming in at number four, we have the Hydrating Shampoo. This is a beautiful, beautiful shampoo. It is among the most beautiful shampoos I've used. And what do I mean by that? First off, the smell is gorgeous. This one has kind of the warm oud-based scent, which is lovely. I also like that this product forms a big lather. I'm a sucker for a big lather. That's a personal preference. Some people don't need that, but I really love feeling my shampoo lather up. It's just one of those like pleasures in life. And this one gives one of the biggest, most satisfying lathers I've seen in almost any shampoo. And a little goes a long way. That's the other thing. You don't need a ton of it. If you've watched my channel for a long time, you know I've been a devotee of Aveda's Cherry Almond Shampoo. This is very close to that shampoo, but I find I can use less of this shampoo and get even more of a lather from it. So this is fantastic. I would say that since I've started using this, you can see I put a little mark here. This is about, without being able to really see, it feels like this is about how much I have left. So after two months washing my hair, twice a week with this shampoo, I still have this much left. So I do think that it's concentrated. Nature speaks to its salon grade quality and I do think that it is very beautiful. The other thing about the lather that I think is meaningful and maybe intentional on Beyonce and Tina's part is that it doesn't require a lot of friction to build up that lather. You know, sometimes some shampoos I find that I really have to like work to get the lather in. This lathers up almost with no friction. And I know that Beyonce has talked about how she doesn't like to rub on her hair or create a lot of friction for it. She likes to be very gentle with it. So it makes sense that the shampoo would generate that kind of lather with minimal you know, rough housing on your actual strands. I really appreciate that and notice that. So in short, this is a gorgeous shampoo. I do expect that I will repurchase, although I will I'll use up this bottle and I'll likely use up all of my Aveda Cherry Almond Shampoo, which I have like a large bottle of it still. I'll work all the way through that one too before I would repurchase this just because they're both lovely shampoos and they're both quite costly and I wanna get my money's worth out of the Aveda shampoo. But I do have to tell you that after all these years, this one could unseat my Aveda Cherry Almond Shampoo, which is really something, it's really, really something that has been my mainstay for a long time. Coming in at number three, I have the Clarifying Shampoo and Scalp Scrub. This is a very unique product. I do not have anything like this in my arsenal already, and I've never had anything like this. This is a shampoo that lathers up, but it has a very fine grit that you can use to scrub your scalp. My scalp type can be oily and I can get buildup. I tend to wash my hair twice a week at most. And so by you know day four or five, I can have some natural oil built up in my scalp. And I find that this shampoo really readily helps me scrub that away, remove any skin cells, anything that needs to be exfoliated away. This gentle grit does that. But then as soon as it's done its job, it seems to dissolve so it doesn't stay afterwards and get stuck in my strands and it doesn't irritate my scalp or overly strip it. It's like just enough. And it has a little bit of a minty, you know, has a minty smell and a minty feel. Feels very invigorating. I find that I look forward to using this. It gives me a level of clean and experience that I want from my shower. I want from washing my hair, but I don't feel like it dries it out. I don't feel like it's stripping it. Sometimes clarifying shampoos can be too stripping 
and I find that this one is not. I usually follow this up with the hydrating shampoo and I find they play beautifully together. 100% will repurchase this clarifying, what is it? Clarifying shampoo and scalp scrub. Love this product. We're getting down to my two favorite products. If you watched my first video, you can probably imagine what it's going to be, but coming in at number two is the Moisture Sealing Lotion. This is basically a leave-in conditioner. Now, I watched Beyonce's uh, The Sacred Get Ready With Me that she did, and she showed how much she uses on her hair, which was far less than I'm using on mine. And she has more hair, it's longer, there's more to cover. So I do think I've been maybe pouring this on a little heavy. I always want to use a leave-in conditioner every single time I wash my hair, no matter what. I find this one provides like a drenching level of moisture. There aren't any colors in this formula. It's a white product, so it doesn't deposit any color into my hair, which I have had other ones that I really like the formula of, but they're yellow, and so then they make my hair a little yellow. This one's great, doesn't do that. And I find that like today, this is what my hair looks like without any other styling products. I just went to bed with the moisture sealing lotion in my hair, and then on Saturday yesterday, I did run some oil through it, but since then I haven't done anything else with my hair. So you can kind of see how even just I get a little bit of definition and it can be a little bit, you know, juicy and soft. I just love it. It's not a styling product, but it is so effective in keeping my hair moisturized that it almost can be and it would help me reduce the amount of styling products that I would need and those can sometimes be drying you know and lead to buildup so I like that this product is here doing just a fabulous job I will absolutely repurchase this I do find that you can use this alone for a blowout I do like to blow out my hair but it performs best when paired with my favorite blowout cream, which at the moment is Orbe's Straight Away. That's the one that I'm loving right now. I'm very interested to see if Sacred comes out with styling products. I predict they will. I don't think they're gonna leave that on the table. If they do come out with a blowout cream, you know I'm going to try it, but right now I do pair this with my Ori or Orbe. Thank you, Jessica, for telling me. I was pronouncing it Orbe in another video, and Jessica let me know that it's Orbe. So Orbe's Straight Away is my what I like to pair with this when I'm blowing my hair out. Love it. 100% will repurchase this. This one, I'm at about this, this level, having used it. So a little bit slower to use this than the shampoo. I think I might be really dumping out a lot of shampoo out of habit. Um, so I might need to learn how to reduce my use of these products, but this I should be able to get at least another two months out of. Maybe by August I'll need to repurchase, but I'm just loving, loving this moisture sealing lotion. Finally, my absolute favorite product from the line, one that I've almost used up, is this moisturizing deep conditioner. This is a beautiful conditioner. You can see how much I've used of it. I've really gone to town on it. It is, I think, one of the most beautiful conditioners I have ever used, and I knew it instantly. Like The first time I tried it, I, I was wowed by it. I find that when I rinse it out and I'm out of the shower, my hair is drenched, like it's holding water, dripping water, more than it ever has before. I don't know if it's a combination of all of these products or what, but I find that my hair has achieved a level of moisture that I can't recall ever having before. And so this moisturizer is my new best friend. <laughs> That's the only way I can put it. I simply don't want to use any other conditioner. I have a couple of other bottles of conditioner in my shower that I need to wrap up using and just let them go. By example, I mean Brio Gio's Don't Despair Repair. This product is in a different universe from Briogeo's Don't Despair Repair. That other product by Briogeo simply doesn't do it for my hair. It can't quite get me there, and I honestly don't really wanna finish it. I want to just keep using this because I'm seeing the results. I have used this product with both heat and not heat. I think it really responds beautifully to heat. Although usually when I'm using it, I'm in the shower and I will put it in my hair, I'll get it up in a big jaw clip and I'll leave it in for about 10 minutes while I'm doing other things. That has been enough for me to see results, but those results only compound, I think, when you use heat. So 
love love it if you were to buy one product depending on your hair type but if you struggle with dryness if your hair needs moisture masks if you buy one product from this line i really think this deep conditioner is the one to try it is beautiful so those are all of my thoughts about sacred after two months of using it this is a salon quality product i do think that it works well on my hair i don't feel qualified to say if it will work on yours or on everybody's hair. So you'll just have to take what I said about my own hair into consideration when you think about yourself and if you find my advice useful to you. I really appreciate you watching my video and I wanna hear from you. Have you tried any of these products? Are you thinking about buying them? Please let me know. Are there other products that she doesn't yet offer that you're hoping she does in the future? I know for sure I would love to see a clear oil, I would love to see a blowout cream and I would really like to see a gel. Is anybody else interested in seeing a gel? I would love just to get a little more definition on my curls after using the moisture sealing lotion, maybe just like a really beautiful gel or some kind of curl definer on top of that. I would absolutely be here for that if they created it. If you enjoyed this video, please consider giving it a like. And if you wanna hang out with me again, please consider subscribing. I post videos on Sunday. Anyway, I hope you are all doing well out there and I hope that you have a great week ahead. Thank you so much for watching. Talk soon.